In this video we're going to have a look at creating a popover on an image. Nice if you want to highlight a product feature or use in the tutorial. So to do that we're going to use the Oxy Extras in conjunction with Oxygen. To activate the Oxy Extra we'll move over to Oxygen, head over to Oxy Extras and from the list of components available we're going to choose hotspots and popovers but you can see there are a whole lot of components that you can activate as you need them. In this case we're really looking at the popover. We then head over to the page. Uh, we're going to put the hotspots on here and to do that um, we're going to go over to edit page and on edit page we're then going to select edit with oxygen and we'll load up oxygen. Oxygen loading Oxygen loaded, first thing we do, we'll add a section and I'm also going to open the structure panel and then inside that section I'm going to add an image or well, before I add an image I think what I'm going to do is just change the size and spacing to zero so that the image is nice and big and instead of adding the image first what I'm going to do is I'm going to head over to extras and I'm going to add the hotspots and you'll see when I click on hotspots there's an option here to add an image or the popover marker. So the first thing I'm going to do is add the image and the image I'm going to use will be this one and once that's selected you'll see that I have the hotspot and I have the image for that hotspot. I can now also add a popover marker there's my popover marker and what I'm going to do then is inside that popover I'm going to add my second image which will appear in the popover so head over to image browse and I'm going to select that image so there we have the sequence of events uh, the hot spot will activate on top of the image and then the popover will show that image if I go and have a look at my page you'll see there's a marker that's appeared here and I'm now going to move that marker into position. You'll see when I click on it it actually activates the popover but first what I'd like to do is just put that in the right position. One way of doing it is to use these um, controls here to put your marker in the right position so you can put it in exactly the right position and then of course when it's close you can then just use the arrow keys on your keyboard to increase or decrease the value. So let's say I'm happy with my popover right there. Um, you'll see now that the um, popover will appear below the marker at this in this position but if I scroll it jumps to the right hand side and the reason for that is that when I hit marker placement at the moment on default it's auto side with the most space in this case what I'd really like to do is just have it open on the right hand side but you'll see you have a whole lot of options for um, the start and the end and this is in relation to the marker in my case just like it on the right hand side and that's pretty much in the position that it's in at the moment so there you see it opens on the right and I can already see that that image is going to be a little bit small to read so I'd like it to open a little bit bigger so head back to the main popper menu and here under the popover width I can use my slider to slide that to an acceptable width so I don't want it to scroll off the page so I'm going to leave it like that if I wanted to add a label with my marker, what I can do is I can head over to marker and I can add a, some label text. So I could say, in this case, just click. And of course you have um, options here to change the marker. I could change that to a, a question mark, maybe um, something like that and then I can change the icon size maybe I want to make that a little bit bigger and then I can also head over to borders maybe I want to give that a, a rounder border so you'll see it has that rounder border I could give that border a color 
so let's just for demo purposes then make that a solid and let's make it say one pixel wide or actually that looked much better a little bit wider maybe we'll go a bit to four pixels and right there we have our marker position and the other option that we also have is it has this um, pulse animation that you can apply so the pulse animation will activate to show that this is something that you can click on so let's apply the parameters to our popover and you'll see there's a very slight animation happening there and there we have our uh, label that says click to open and now what I'm going to do is save that and then I'm going to head over to the front end so we can just have a look and see what that looks like so what's nice is it's really easy to add this to a page if I want to highlight uh, some features of a product. So we just wait for that to load up and you'll see there is an animation. I'm not sure you can see it on the video. And when I click the pop up happens uh, to the right hand side. And in this case it's an image but it could also have just been some text explaining or maybe text and an image explaining what's happening when you click on the image over here on the left hand side. If you're not happy with the position because it's a little bit off on the top then what we can do in that case is head over to the uh, to the hotspot and what we'll do is we'll just change that vertical a bit lower down. So save that, head over to the front end and now it should fit a little bit better. Right and there you can see it fits a little bit better so you can arrange that the way that you want then if we head over to inspect to view on mobile you'll see that our, our image is there although it's small and we do have the icon to click but it still reveals on the right hand side but you can see here that the formatting for the page now is is completely out so on mobile we don't want it to open on the right hand side so we head over here to the marker and what we do then is we change our screen to the mobile view and now what we do is we say the popover placement should be not on the right hand side but in this case we're going to go to the bottom so now when we click on our um, popover it'll open to the bottom uh, not happening in the preview mode. Uh, I didn't apply the parameters, that's why. Um, apply the parameters here and that will change the position. Now when we go back to our mobile view, refresh the page and now you'll see that it opens to the bottom and I can scroll down and view it quite easily. So that shows just how easy it is to create a popover on an image and if I wanted to of course I can create more than one on a page so quite easy then for me to head over and create a second popover so I'm going to go to extras and add a popover or on my hotspots page uh, properties Let's head over to the properties for the hotspot and I can add another popover marker. Right, it's over here and I can then just change that vertical and make the horizontal, um, maybe put that in the middle and what I'll do then is also use the question mark and make that icon a lot bigger and I'm just going to apply the parameters there so we can see what it looks like I'll click on that one to hide it and then in this popover now you'll see I don't have any content yet so in this content then I'm going to add um, let's add a video so let's uh, add a video 
right so in the pop over now we have a video field and let's get a video from YouTube so I've have a video that I'd like to put in there and I'm going to save that and what I'm also going to do is I'm going to say that I want my popover um, for this particular hotspot I'd like the position of the popover to be below Um, at the bottom right and also think that I'm going to make it a bit wider that's not very really wide so head back to my popover and let's make that 500 pixels apply the parameters let's save that and now we'll load that on the website and you'll see how we can even include a video in so there we had the image and here we have a video and we can watch our video in the popover so let's just refresh that one more time there we go with the increase in the size and if I wanted to now I would be able to watch the video in the popover there I have an image so it's really quite easy to add whatever content you want into your popover and then to position the popover in your document and if we go over to mobile now you'll see that because we set to the popover to be at the bottom uh, the popover should be fine except now we have an issue with the width so let's head back to our popover and this time what I'm going to do is with the popover let's go to the width we'll change that to a percentage and I'm going to make that uh, let's make that 90 percent we'll save that now I'll head over to my website I'm going to reload the page and now when that video loads we should see that loading at the right size so the percentage isn't working for the video in that case then what we'll do on mobile instead of using percentages we'll change that to pixels and we'll just change that maybe to save size um, that looks like a save size save uh, 300 pixels we'll just wait for the website um, it's reloading so there on mobile now we have a nice video appearing in in the correct position we also have the image and if I go to mobile view you'll see that we have the larger video appearing so that's how easy it is to add pop-ups and pop-overs to your images and inside them you can add the content that you want so I hope you enjoyed the video thank you for watching